What's up guys, Sonny Carter here, and in this video, I'm going to share how to stop the mother-in-law invasion. You know that mother-in-law who comes over your house and cleans your entire house, um, tells you how to raise your kids, um, says things behind your back, and it can be an issue sometimes when dealing with in-laws. So I'm going to give you some powerful tips on how to deal with the mother-in-law invasion. And um, the reason I choose mother-in-law because from dealing with other marriages and from my experience and from, from experiences from other friends, um, usually the problem is with the mom. I don't know why, but it is. But So that's why I call this video dealing with the mother-in-law invasion, okay? Um, and mother-in-law invasions can really tear apart a marriage. It can divide a marriage, um, it can cause conflict, um, and it can cause some serious issues um, because you're dealing with you know, your spouse's mom, which they love, obviously, um, and care about, and you're dealing with the balance of um, making their mom feel loved, but at the same time, setting boundaries, too. So, here's some powerful tips I'm going to give you to obliterate the mother-in-law invasion once and for all, okay? So, tip number one is communicate your expectations. Now, um, this is a, an important step because I think sometimes when we have issues with our mother-in-law, um, we don't communicate them. We just sometimes can sit upset. Um, we can sit angry at what they're doing um, and, and just not communicate our feelings about it because we're afraid that our spouse is going to get upset because it's their mom. Um, another reason why we may not communicate is because every time we do communicate issues we have with our mother-in-law, um, the spouse may get upset or may get defensive or you may feel like they choose their, they choose their mom over you, which we'll talk about in another in another step another point that i'm going to make okay so the key is um number one if if your spouse is willing to listen um you guys have to get together and communicate your expectations this is something that i had to do with my marriage as well um communicate what's allowed what's not allowed you know um and the best thing you want to do is have your spouse communicate that to their mom and and set the boundary um, it's not an easy thing to do, and sometimes the mother-in-law might get upset, but they'll get over it after a while, okay? Um, the thing is, you have to protect your marriage. That's the first priority. Um, you know, you, you shouldn't be siding with, um, um, if it's your mom, you shouldn't be siding with your mom if she's in the wrong, okay? Um, and if she's not in the wrong, I think you just have to find a way to to balance that where, where your wife doesn't feel like, um, she's leftovers and, you know, and she's secondary in the marriage. So you just want to protect the marriage, right? So number one is communicate expectations. Um, and again, if it's your mom, like you should, you should have your spouse talk to their mom and communicate the expectations that you have for your, for your relationship, whether it's, you know, when they come over, um, that, that you prefer them not to clean the whole entire house or not to make slight comments about how you raise the kids or, um, not to criticize you, you know, if they have something to say, like, just don't say it, right? Things like that, like, have clear communications and boundaries, and let them know that you guys are a unit now, right? There's a reason um, in the Bible says that when you get married, you leave your mother and father, and you become one, okay? You guys are one unit now. Um, you're separate from your mommy and daddy now, okay? Um, step number two to obliterate the mother-in-law invasion is if you're living with your mother-in-law, move out ASAP, please. I've seen so many marriages get destroyed because they moved in with their mother-in-law and for good reason. Maybe they're trying to find a house or save some money. Um, but after a while, um, you become an invasion in their space and it, it, it gets to a point where it causes stress in the marriage. And so if you're at that point, um, this actually happened to us when we moved to a new state. Um, we stood without mother-in-law, and um, it was great, okay? It was great for maybe the first three months, and um, but then after a while, um, you know, we needed to get our own place. It was just it was just cramping up, and there was just issues happening, and we just needed to, to leave. And so, same for you. And I had another friend who um, lived with their mother-in-law, um, who the marriage just kept having issues and issues and issues, um, because because it was just you know invasion of space after a while it was just things happen right um but as soon as they moved out and got their own place their marriage just got so much better okay um and so please if you if you if you feel like you you out welcome your stay with with your your spouse's mother 
then um, it's time to go, okay? Sorry to say, but you guys need to get out <laughs> and get a place. Um, it'll be better for your marriage and it'll be healthier for your marriage, trust me. Um, okay, the next tip is um, if um, protecting, yeah, so protecting your, so one point about protecting your marriage um, is you want to make sure that if there is a conflict between your spouse and um, between you and your mother-in-law, um, you definitely want your spouse um, to be kind of a mediator and kind of resolve it. Like you don't want to be the one trying to um, get into conflict resolution all the time with the mother-in-law because it could turn ugly. Unless you have a really good friendship, you guys can talk, open dialogue and so forth. Depends on the relationship. But for the most part, um, when we try to approach people that are our spouse's mom, it can be kind of tricky, okay, in terms of conflict resolution. So what I recommend, again, this is not, um, my recommendation is not for all marriages. Um, it can be different depending on the dynamic of the relationship between the mother-in-law, between you and the mother-in-law. But what I recommend is just sitting down with the spouse, let them know the conflict that you're having with their mom, and then um, having them kind of be that mediator to say, hey, look, you know, go back to the mom and say, you know, and just kind of be that mediator to resolve it and between the two and kind of set the expectations and protect your marriage, okay? Um, so those are the tips that I have, guys, is communicate your expectations about the mother-in-law. Um, if you're living with your mother-in-law, get up on out of there ASAP if you, um, if you um, overstayed and you feel like you're, you're overstayed, definitely get your own place. Um, and, um, you know, um, and protect the marriage. Okay, I can't say that enough, is your marriage has to come first, has to be priority. Um, I'm not saying that you have to kick your mom to the side. Of course not, like we all love our moms. But if they're overstepping and they're hurting our spouse, we need to step in there and we need to con take control of the situation. Um, and we need to make sure that our, our spouses feel like we're protecting the marriage, okay? So um, I hope you got some, some value from this. Uh, let me know, give me some thumbs up on this video if, if you got some value from this, if you found it helpful. Um, shoot me a comment below. Let me know some of the experiences you had with the mother-in-law invasion and how you're able to deal with it. Um, love to hear your thoughts on that. And if you have any more tips on how to deal with the mother-in-law invasion, um, I would definitely like to hear your thoughts on that as well. So uh, appreciate you guys so much. Subscribe to our channel. We'd love to have you on board as we strive to help marriages get strengthened and um, become marriages that achieve a legacy for our children and for our future generations to come. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you on the next video. This is Sunny Carlos signing out. See you guys. Have a great day. Bye.